I feel like I am the future of kickboxing and I am here to stay and I will not allow him nor anybody else to make any plans change for me. I don't care who it is. Rico, where are you? I guess I need to start over and start knocking out everybody by the ranks and wait for my uh, wait for my shot for the title because uh, there's nothing else for me to do. I'm just waiting and I hope I don't get bored. So I accepted, accepted this fight and any, uh, any fight they give me, I'm ready. So don't care, just keep them coming in the line. I'm ready to fight anybody. The plan stays the same, like till now. I'm not there to fight on points, to win at five boring rounds. I'm coming for the fight, real fight, kickboxing fight, violence, madness, knockouts. I don't care about nothing else. Your main event of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's heavyweight division and is brought to you this evening by Jack's Casino and Sports, Raul Cortinas and Antonio Plazabat. What was your reaction when you found out you were fighting this big, big man fighting out of Romania? Oh, from what I see now, he, he has a big neck and big shiny head, so looks good on camera. I can see my face in the, in the, in the forehead of his. He's standing in the front of my dream, so you know what, is, what means that. So he must kill me to win this fight. I'm going to kill you, don't worry. Don't need to rush for it. Yeah, we will see, Antonio. Be careful with your chin. You're not so strong in the chin. No, no, no. You, are, you, I got, you have power. I give you that. No, you have more power than the Prince of Kickboxing, Lady Princess. That's for sure. And some other guy. But you are not the mean guy as you want to present to yourself. You are the, just a child who thinks you, uh, you are the best. But you are not, I, I will put you on your place after this fight. Good. After this fight, you're going to be in your place. Yeah, it's good. I mean, look, look to my eyes. After this fight, I will put you in yeah, your place. I, I come for a knockout, nothing else. You don't have the power to knock me out, my friend. My friend, you don't have the power to knock me out. We are getting ready for one round, and that's it. And after one round, if it's not done, Eh, f it. <laughs> but it's gonna be done in one round. Antonio Plazaba! Plazaba still coming forward. Then a left hook to the Switch knee. Let's take a look at this tail of the tape for this heavyweight main event. 28 years old for Plazabot, 34 for Katinas. Katinas, the shorter fighter, four inch height advantage and a couple inch reach advantage for Antonio Plazabot. He's gonna have to use that reach versus those power punches. Professional experience, the edge going to the Romanian, 48 to 25 fights. And look at these knockout percentages for both gentlemen. But Katina's 48 fights, 80% KO ratio. There's no guessing what he wants to do to Plazabot tonight. Now, my keys to glory for this heavyweight fight, Antonio Plazabot. It's calculated pressure. He's got to set up that power that he's known for, and he's got to rip the body and find those uppercuts. For Katinas, he needs to find his way safely on the inside. Inside pressure, use his power punches, mix in body head, and ultimately, he's got to chop those legs of the bigger Antonio Plazabot.
This is your main event of the evening. Three rounds in Glory's heavyweight division. Two top 10 fighters with nearly 50 career knockouts between them. Both predicting a very quick finish to this one tonight. This bout sanctioned by Vaughn. Alex Engelhart is with us ringside. And at the bell, your referee is Yusuf Aknik. From Bonn to Boston, kickboxing fans are watching around the world. It's time for glory! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. This heavy-handed heavyweight brings a career 80% knockout ratio to the ring. His record, 41 wins with seven losses, 33 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet even, 1.83 meters, and he weighed in at 241.4 pounds, 109.5 kilos. Fighting out of Romania and ranked number 10 in the Glory World Rankings, ladies and gentlemen, Raul Ayan Katines. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. A world champion who made his debut in Paris at Glory 66. He arrives on a three knockout streak. As a professional, 21 wins with four losses, 15 of those wins coming by knockout. He stands six feet four inches tall, 1.93 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at a ready 267.9 pounds, 121.5 kilos. Fighting out of Split Croatia, he is the number one heavyweight contender in the world. He is Antonio Plaza. Once again, your referee is Yusuf Aknik. Can we please get everyone to their seats before we start this fight, please? Thank you. Okay, touch gloves, take a step back. Judges. To our heavyweight main event, we have Raul Katinas in the black gloves, the black shorts. Time. The number one ranked heavyweight in the world. Antonio Plazabot in the white gloves and the black shorts representing Mike's gym. Both gentlemen don't think this fight's going past the first round. No, nope, no time wasted, getting right to work, exchanging low kicks. You can see when Katina's lands, it's all power, but Kazabat knows he's the taller fighter, so using his jab, his front kick, to keep Katina's away, good strategy. Kazabat thinks he has the better gas tank if it goes past one round. Katina says, I can't judge my cardio on my first fight. He'll see. Well, it's, we'll see tonight now, it's right now. Katina's already looking to get in close as the shorter fighter. Work the body a little bit, see if he can come over the top with that big left hook. Yep, I think ultimately he rips that body very hard to go to the head. Pazabat, is he right wearing, wearing, trying to wear the energy out of Katina's maybe? Sitting there in that high guard and then just slugging back, man. Antonio's a big boy these days. Really focusing on his power training. Look at those punches. Oh, left, left, right. Again, got through Katinas. Katinas is not to get counters back. Hook counter. Look at these one for one, hook for hook. They usually say don't throw hooks with hooks, but these guys don't care. Katinas gets rocked with a right hand. Plazabot punching through the guard. Chopping the legs. Can he get the finish? Oh, he pulled the hook and got the down. right hook. Katinas on the Used his high guard, pressured, ripped the body, found the punches. I don't care if your guard's up, Antonio punched right through it. And Katinas went right through the ropes with those power shots. 
Wow, what a finish by Antonio Plazaba taking a big risk as the number one contender fighting number 10. And this is what he wanted. And I'm excited to hear what he has to say in the ring later. A lot of emotion. Tiffany, what did you see from this? Thanks, like, like you said, as soon as Raul Katina started covering up in that high guard, Plazaba just unleashed some clubs, some bombs, relentless, working his way, finding his way around the guard, able to put Katina's out. He's just now starting to sit up. He's still not looking too good. And the way Plazabot ripped that body went upstairs. Katinas was sitting there, even with his guard up, Plazabot's power was way too much. Left, left, right, 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 left, mixing it up. Body shots, even in those big exchanges. How I know he's getting more experienced is he even threw a hard low kick to break up the power punches. And Antonio Plazabot really opening up with his combinations, his power. Even on the mic, he's become more social. His personality's coming out. I think we got a star in this heavyweight division. It's good, it's needed. Bring some fresh new life to the division. Yeah, and he's no surprise. I know when I get in there, I'm sure he's gonna have a few words for our current champ, Rico Verhoeven. But look at this replay, Tiffany. Look at Plaza Bot just really powering the punches. Straight right, I think, was the beginning of the end. But left, yeah. right, left, and then that low kick. Just mixing it up. Katina's had no yes. answer. Another right hand gets through. Body, head, and he's out. Yeah, uh, and then he saw that guard manipulation, the way he pulled the guard, smacked that punch. Nasty. Look at Katina's right over the Toblerone. Just nasty power from Plaza Bot. Stayed patient early in that fight. And then once he knew he unloaded, he was waiting. Maybe he was trying to wear the power up, but look at these shots, Tiffany. Fantastic, unbelievable. A lot of emotion, Plaza Bot's happy, he's aggressive, he's been yelling. Look at that smile on his face. All the hard work paid off, a lot of emotion. It's been a couple fights now, Tiffany, that he's been asking for Rico Verhoeven. How do you see him matched up with Verhoeven? Man, with a performance like that, I mean, Rico's not gonna just stand there like uh, Katina's did, but if he's able to apply the same pressure, mix it up, I mean, I think he could, he could give Rico a run for his money. Yeah, Rico, maybe a little bit, I would say a lot more technical with his kicks and the way he sets things up. Rico's a different animal. He's been sitting at that top of the division, but Plazaba really needs to take this momentum. That's four knockouts in a row. But fighting Rico in five rounds, he needs to control that power. So I'm sure the game plan now, and just like how we started this fight, patient, patient. But when he does have you hurt, he explodes for those big power shots. Definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an abrupt end. Just one minute and 44 seconds into the fight when our referee, Yusuf Hocknik, steps in to wave this one off. For your winner, by knockout, Antonio Plaza. All right, Antonio Plaza, you said it would be done in the first round and you delivered, my friend. How we feeling? Like I told, if I don't beat everybody, I'm not the best. One more thing. If I don't beat him in second round, I'm not better than him. Did I say that? Yeah, so I got just one question today. Rico Verhoeven, where the fuck are you? I'm gonna kill you! Ah! There you have it. He said his words. He called his shots. Antonio Plazabat.